Hey everybody, I am here with your favorites. I was gonna say not mine, but yes, many of mine as well. Here to share them with you. If this is looking familiar or repetitive, I am planning on doing a couple of vacations, trips this month, some of them spontaneous, slightly spontaneous. Is it spontaneous if I'm trying to plan it? Anyway, I'm trying to get some pre-filming done, which means filming a few videos in a row. So you're gonna see this I look in another week again. So if you do like this or kind of intrigued by what is going on here, make sure you're subscribed. I'm gonna do a tutorial on this. But enough about me, like I said, this is about you. This is where I go back and look at the top five of your favorites from everything that was presented the month before, your top picks in beauty, clothing, accessories, and lifestyle, and how do I find out these things? Well, when you click and on a link and purchase stuff, I get the analytics back, so I'm looking at the most clicked and purchased items of the month, and it helps me kind of focus on what you're most interested in and tailor a little bit. And it's also fun because if something's sold out or I found something better or have some more information about it since the last time I talked about it on my channel, I can update you or give you better options. So let's go. Starting with beauty because that's how this channel gets started. The standout was this guy. This is from Flower Beauty. Get it at Walmart. And it's a two-ended lipstick and gloss. This one I talked about was it in the July favorites video and where I was looking for a dupe for Pillow Talk? This one on me pulls more as a dupe. It's the particular shade is Honey Nude. So one end is the actual lipstick. It's a beautiful lipstick. It's kind of a pinky brown. And then on the other end is a matching lip gloss. It is opaque. So some of you came back and said you felt like Tickled Pink, which is another one in this um, line, is a better dupe for Pillow Talk. Not on my skin tone. On my skin tone, this is a dead on match. The tickle pink is a little more mauvey pink than pillow talk on me. Are you following? I don't even think I made sense there. But anyway, on my skin tone, this pulls to dupe Charlotte Tilbury's pillow talk, if you're looking for one. And like I said, Walmart, so a lot less expensive than the Charlotte Tilbury option. The next beauty favorite was something I don't even remember talking about, but it was the second most popular thing. It is, again, from Flower Beauty, and it is renamed the Nude Remix. Let me open it for you. It is also the Cool Natural Palette. It is really pretty, especially right here under these studio lights. Okay, the one light. I have one ring light on right now, but you know what I mean. Okay, that was too bright. Turned it down a little bit. Anyway, this is what it looks like. They're really pretty colors, very wearable, apparently very popular. So I think it's 50, around, ooh, almost, that was bad. Almost 15, around $15, very reasonable as well. Okay, we're sticking with drugstore. This tells me you're interested in affordable makeup, and I am too. I'm wearing it myself. It's the Physicians Formula Healthy Foundation. I love this foundation. I'm currently wearing it in the shade LC1 um, because I'm not fake tanning anymore, so I'm just the lightest shade. Okay, let me fix this lighting. So I brought up Charlotte Tilbury. Well, number four on your faves was basically what I have on right now. It's the Charlotte Tilbury Hot Lips 2 collection, specifically the shade JK Magic. It's sort of what I'm wearing on my lips. I have, I went, I've been shopping the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty and I got the, this lip duo right here. This is not part of the video, not officially. It's um, White Russian and Clementine, no, Celeste. White Russian and Celeste, a little like mini lip duo. And I layered that on and it's pretty, but it's really, really nude. And with all this going on, it was just too nude. So I tried to warm it up a bit by slapping this on top. Um, so that's why it looks a lot more glossy than it normally is. But there it is. Um, it's just the perfect everyday nudish brown shade. I love it. So do you. And then the last favorite, I'm gonna put it in beauty. It's actually what's in my hair today. It is the SGX NYC Salon Graphics The Peacemaker Beachy Texture Spray. So I curled my hair with my one inch hot tools and um, sprayed this in layers and then brushed it all out. And so I have body, but it's not too, I just love it. I just, I love it. It's not really beachy, it's more like kind of 40s, but I love it. Okay, let me scooch over so I can insert some pictures because we're moving on to clothing. 
So the number one most favorite item from August of yours was the baby doll cardigan from Walmart. Online only, I have to point out, but that was the one clear favorite from all of you. It does come in quite a few other colors if you don't like that lavender orchid pink. There are some more neutral, softer shades, um, particularly a pistachio one that is perfect for this time of year. And I can't say enough good things about it, so I'm glad you liked it as much as I did. The next one is what I'm wearing now, and if I look a little more dewy than normal, it might be because I'm wearing this and it's 95 degrees outside. It is the Star Sweater, again from Walmart, and very popular. It's a great price. How could it not be popular? And there were some questions about how does it feel, how does it wear, how does it wash. I um, hand wash this and lay flat to dry. I did size up. These run a little bit small. Um, it's very soft. I mean, it's not like chenille soft, but it's really, there's no scratchiness. It's not like a wool sweater. It's very comfortable. Your next favorite what has been a favorite of my top five weekly favorites, three weeks running as of filming this, and it is the All In Favor button back top. So I sized, I didn't size up, I did true to size, thinking that I needed a little more room in the chest area, but in hindsight, go with the advice on the Nordstrom website. Go a size down. It's very blousey. It's very boxy. I mean, I'm fine with it the way it is, but I could definitely have pulled off an extra small without an issue. I think it comes in four colors. There's some really pretty fall colors. There's your basic black and white. There's like a rust and maybe like a very light lilac -y mauve, if I remember. Yes, four colors. So very popular. I have two of them. Bought them both. Might go back for that mauve in an extra small. It's just really pretty. The next clothing favorite of yours from last month was the Raw Edge Boyfriend Blazer from Topshop, and I love it. I brought it with me on a trip last month to Mississippi, just in case the air conditioning got too high. That really didn't happen. It was just ridiculously hot, but I'm looking forward to actually wearing it any day now, weather. Let's cooperate. Um, for those of you who have been able to wear it, please Comment down below, let me know what you're thinking of it. I just love how it drapes, I love how it hangs. It's casual, yet it's a blazer, so it kind of dresses up a basic tee and jeans. It's a great piece. I wish they would come out with a few more colors because this is a piece I could definitely see going to year after year. And then the last clothing favorite from August was the Vince Camuto ankle pants. I love, I think of all the work type, formal pant trouser sort of options that I have in my closet, the Vince Camuto ones are my favorite by far. If you um, are in an office situation or where you have to wear you know, dressy black pants fairly often, I cannot recommend these enough. They, are, they just lay really nicely. They're super flattering. I wear the petite and they hit me right at the ankle exactly where I need them. So if you're 5'4 or under, definitely go for the petite sizing. Okay, let's move on to accessories. This might be my favorite category. The number one standout was the vegan messenger bag. You can find this on social threads. So here, let me explain again. You buy the bag. There's many, many color choices. As you can see, mine is full because I've been carrying it. It has this outer pocket here and then it's just wide open, has a magnetic closure, but it's a big open sack in there. But then you buy the strap separately and I have my eye on the rainbow stripe one next. I think that would be fun. Now these have been sold out for a while. As of filming this, I've confirmed that they came back in stock on September 12th, which will be yesterday in your world. Hopefully, as you are watching this, it is still available, but if it is sold out, do not fear. Just sign up for the Social Threads newsletter. It's free. Follow them on Instagram, and you will get, your, get an email letting you know in advance that they are coming and be ready. So love this company, love this brand. Planning on doing a haul from them actually in uh, for October. I just really enjoyed my shopping experience with them and I wanna shop some more things. They carry some of my favorite brands like Z Supply and it's geared towards like more casual yet fun, age appropriate stuff. So if you see anything in particular that's caught your eye there, again, let me know in the comments. Okay, number two for accessories and I count that as like shoes, purses, jewelry, were these shoes. These are the Vince Camuto Camora Cutout Shield sandals. I initially bought them in this taupe color during the anniversary sale. Then they went on sale again, and they are a little bit less expensive even than in the sale, so I picked up another one in black. And I love these, they're really comfortable. I love the zip, they're easy to get in and out. Um, the chunky heel makes them really easy to walk around in, and apparently y'all love them as much as I do. They also come in a gray, more options, love options. Okay, number three. This is kind of interesting because 
We went, I'd say that vegan messenger bag is sort of middle of the road price point for a purse. Then you got your next favorite was not so middle. This is the um, Mulberry Medium Lily Bag and I have it with the silver hardware and a lot of interest in this bag last month. It's a hefty piece. It is not um, lightweight. It is a significant piece of leather. It is a beautiful bag. I need to stuff mine so it doesn't lose its shape but I've had this for quite a few years now. I wear it all the time for more formal occasions and I love her. And you can wear it like a shoulder strap or the chain adjusts like so and you can wear it more long or crossbody or however you want. Like I said earlier when I talked about this bag, in hindsight I wish I had gone for the gold because I don't wear so much silver jewelry, but what I love the most about this is the mulberry hardware. There's just something about that I just, I love it. But then your next favorite was definitely more affordable bag options and it's this guy. I can't remember what the exact name of it, but it's from Topshop. It's a faux croc, clearly it's $55. It's faux croc, um, faux tortoise shell. But the details on this make it look so much more expensive than it is. Uh, it also comes in black and Topshop has just a ton of bags out this month that are just really on trend and really affordable and I would definitely keep an eye on them because they will probably all go on sale very, very soon. Some of them, this one, no, the black one I think already has, so keep your eye out for them. And then the last accessory that was a favorite is actually what I have on here, speaking of gold jewelry. I have had these for years and years and years. They're from the brand Goriana. They're the Chloe Studs. It's just, if I'm not sure what to pack, every time I go on vacation, these come with me. They just go with everything. They're a basic gold, disc but it's a hammered disc and it just goes with everything it's classic but just a little bit of a little extra something with that hammered texture I love these they're beautiful and then we go on a lifestyle which is was supposed to be just kind of home stuff but it's turned into everything else that doesn't fit into the previous three categories so the number one thing you are most interested in I can't really point it at you because it's a mirror um, it's the Ricky, what is it really called? Ricky Cutie Portable Lighted Mirror. And um, mine is from PR, so it looks a little bit different than the one you would get at Nordstrom. The back is all white instead of having the Origins branding here. But I, this was a lifesaver in my recent trip to Mississippi. It comes in this little felt kind of velour case. You just slide it in. This is what I used as my makeup mirror. And it doesn't have... Um, a close-up it's just a straight mirror but what's great is you push this little button and it lights up and you keep pushing it and it lights up even more I mean it's so easy you just hold this in one hand and you loop your fingers in here kind of like a beauty version of brass knuckles and you just you can do your makeup you can bring it in as close as you need it's a great piece now I'm kind of this is a bigger price jump than I'm willing to invest right now. They have a like tabletop vanity type mirrors. They are stunning. The parent brand is Glamcore. I, I want one. I can't justify one yet, but I do want one. It's on my major wish list. If I ever set up a filming studio room, that's the first thing I buy for that room. My current vanity setup is just fine. But if you really want to see some beautiful, really cool mirrors, I'll put a link to it below. It's not an affiliate link, just go check it out. Next was um, sitting on my couch, and you're probably so sick of hearing of hearing me talk about it, but maybe not because it makes my top favorites every single month, maybe for the last, oh gosh, how many months? It's the Kennebunk Bliss Plush Throw. I mean, maybe all of you have already bought it, and now no one's gonna buy it, and we don't have to hear about it again. But in case you haven't <laughs> bought it, it is the most cozy, soft, smooshy throw blanket you will ever have in your life. It is full price, $39.99. It goes on sale frequently down to like $29 or $23, depending on how Nordstrom feels like marking it down. In the fall, winter, they come out with a full bed size, like queen or king size. Cannot wait to get one. Haven't seen it yet. But this is the best present for yourself. Best present, if you're looking now to start stocking up on presents for people, this is something you should grab now. Just get a few at a time and go take it to somewhere to get monogrammed and you'll be all set for the holiday season. Or just keep them blank and hand them out to teachers and your child will soon be the teacher's pet. These are just amazing. I have three or four of them now. And I'm gonna just keep buying more. Love them. This is more seasonally appropriate. I'm, I'm dying in this sweater. This was also a favorite of yours for lifestyle from August and it's the handheld fan. 
from Amazon. And I'm not so extra that I need to be setting my makeup with a hand fan, although I will say I personally enjoy it. But the summer that will not quit is still going on. I'm drying my hair in one hand, I'm round brushing, in the other hand, I'm putting this fan on my face because it's you get so hot. And then I like stick it down my shirt. I keep it in my purse if I'm going like sightseeing, walking around. I'm telling you, you will not regret this. When you buy it, you can see it has this, these little white clips on the back. It comes with like a like a metal bar and you can hang it. So you can hang it on your kid's stroller. You can hang it on a golf cart. It's so handy. You It can run on batteries or you can charge it with a USB charger. So it's very, very handy hand fan. Okay, next in the lifestyle favorites was a book. And I'm so excited because the author and I have sort of been communicating back and forth and she is lovely in real life as well. And it is called Slightly South of Simple. It's part of a series of three books and it was a great summer read, but honestly, it's a great read year round. I will link to the first in the series below. And remember, if you enjoy a fun read, our book group is meeting on September 24th at 8 p.m. Central and we're reading Class Mom. And I'll link that below. I like books that are fun, that make you laugh, that make you smile, that make you feel good, occasionally make you tear up, but not to the point of depression. So if you like those kinds of books, many of you clearly do since you got Slightly South of Simple. I think you're gonna enjoy Class Mom too. And then the last favorite for August of yours is another favorite of mine, and it is the Clippa Bag Hanger. Doesn't this look odd? It's just, it's it's a it has a hinge here, it opens up, and inside, when you open it up, these edges have silicone pads on them. So when you have a bag and there's nowhere to hang it, like it might fall off the corner of your chair, this one won't, but you just open it up, slide it through. Now this has a handy strap, but you'd be surprised how many purses you can find something to hook this through. And I am going to use my hand as the example again. It just balance, well no that's, yeah, you can kind of see there. It just, it can balance on anything. It's just balancing on my hand. You can obviously, I would secure it, when well, you can't see me doing it, secure it to a table. That's what it's intended to do. But I, you can hang it even, like if you're in the bathroom, and there's nowhere to put your purse, I have done this, it can balance ever so gently on the edge of the toilet paper roll holder. Because when you're in a public bathroom, it's the, one of the worst experiences it is to be sitting there with your purse on your lap while you're trying to squat and not actually sit on the seat and use the restroom. That's not the workout that I signed up for. Thank you very much. Anyway, this is handy. I need to order a couple more for myself because I have just been pulling them out. Every time I switch my bag, I pop that into the next one. And it's maybe good to have a couple extras lying around or keep one in my car because I have reached for this on a not quite daily basis, but almost weekly basis. So you will not regret having this. And it's, it's like for 12, 12, $13. Again, really good fun gift. All right, so those were your favorites and quite a few of my favorites from August of 2019. Can't believe we're in September. So excited. September's just, I love that transition into fall. It's just all the newness and a new school year and a new season and a weather change. It's just, it's exciting. I, I feel like more energized and excited about September than I, I am about January because all the fun holidays are coming up. We have Halloween and Thanksgiving and Hanukkah and Christmas and New Year's Eve and all around the corner and everything's still new and shiny and bright. So I hope your September has been new and shiny and bright and lovely so far. Mine has been going well. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe, sign up for the book club on Facebook, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!